On the first day of our stay in Poland, we left Lutz at around 7 a.m. and took a four-hour drive to Auschwitz. It was here that we visited the former Nazi concentration camp known as Auschwitz-Birkenau. It was here that we saw the massive rail yards where the selection process was carried out, where the victims were unloaded like cattle from railway trains, sorted, some sent to work, some sent to the gas chambers.
we were shown the block houses of Auschwitz I, a site approximately three kilometres from Auschwitz II Birkenau. It was here that we witnessed the sombre remains of the hundreds of thousands of Jews, gypsies and political prisoners that ended their lives here. We witnessed the atrocity of the conditions that they lived in and of the places that they were murdered. In the afternoon of that day, we drove then to Krakow. Once we were checked in our hotel, we took a short walk through the most historic square in Europe. This is known as Market Square. We also visited the most important and most sacred monument that's in Krakow today, St Mary's Church. In here is one of Europe's largest Gothic altars, designed and built by Viet Gost. This really made a big impression on us, as did the murals based on a project by the early 19th century Polish painter Jan Matejko. It was a fun-filled day, and it ended tasting traditional Polish cuisine, but with a lot of great conversation, many stories, and quite a few beers. You know, in television, you're never supposed to talk directly to the camera. You're supposed to actually act like the camera's not there. But in this instance, I feel compelled to say hello to my host, hi Peter, and talk to the camera. The next day, 
we started a tour of Vavil Castle, named such because it's built on the high hill of Vavil. During this trip we toured the armoury, the treasury, as well as the private royal apartments and chambers of representation. We finished our tour here in the amazing and breathtaking cathedral where the remains of many Polish kings are buried in the tombs. From Wawel Castle, we traveled to an area called Czyżyny. It was there we found the Museum of Aviation. For me, this was a wonderful place. They have an absolutely fantastic collection of period aircraft dating from pre-World War I to modern aircraft.
We studied aircraft from both world wars, as well as the post-war period. Of particular interest to me were the varied helicopters. To Lee, it was some of the engines that we were looking at. It was incredible the diversity of material that was stored at this location. There were missiles, there were jets, there were helicopters, there were crop dusting planes. There was not enough time and too many things to see. As Richie said, there was loads of engines as well. We also saw one of Europe's largest collection of aircraft engines under one roof, which was particularly impressive. From the Aircraft Museum, we continued our tour with a visit to the fabulous Vierlijka salt mine. From the Middle Ages, this particular salt mine was still, and it still is, one of the largest and functioning in Europe. The site, at 137 metres deep, and like the rest of the old town of Krakow, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. During our two-hour tour, we saw a good few miles of underground corridors and stunning chambers, many of which were decorated with fine salt sculptures and base reliefs made by the miners themselves. The highlight of the tourist route was the monumental St Kinga but many of the structures designed to support the ceilings were also equally impressive. Some of the huge caverns were supported with so much lumber that at first glance it looks like you're looking at a bridge work. I was amazed at the carpentry and I couldn't believe that at the turn of the century, operating with little more than candles and torches, these men were able to create these huge cavernous openings. After leaving the amazing salt mine, we once again had a great dinner and more beer with good company before beginning the three hour ride back to Luz. This is without a doubt one of the, the best visits we've had to Poland. 
and it wouldn't have been as it was without fantastic company and great guys. I'm sure you'll agree, Richie. You know, Lee, we've quite literally been around the world. We've had a lot of fun in a lot of different places. But of all the places we go, I think that the best thing is always the people. No matter where you go, leaving with great memories of great people is what brings you back. Like I always said, diving's good. You can make some money out of it. It's the people we meet, isn't it? And this trip, without a doubt, has been good for that. Great yeah. company. Peter and Romick have been absolutely fantastic. And uh, what a great trip. Thanks to them. We were in the salt mines today. I thought my life was going to pass before me. Then an angel came and led us out of the darkness. Here, to where the beer is cold. That's the end of the story. I'm Richie Cola. <laughs> and I'm Lee Bishop. <laughs>